out? I, I mean, I know you're always competing, but mm -hmm. with ban out, and is there a heightened sense of urgency in terms of opportunity that might be there for you, someone like you? Um, no, I would say you know it's the same opportunity that's always there. Um, you know, it's you know, shout out to my brother Van. He's mm -hmm. down. He's going to be back quick, better than ever. Um, but you know, the the culture that we have there in that room is you know next man up, and you know we're always always ready and you know always just looking for you know different opportunities to help out the team you know it's not our our shot or our call to say you know hey this is my opportunity you just you just wait for the opportunity and if it presents itself then you know we'll be ready how would you describe your training camp? training camp uh training camp was not exactly what i expected um you know i ended up dealing with a little little soft tissue stuff um after the first week but overall just being back out there with my knee i couldn't have asked for anything better um you know I just, you know, it was good to knock off some of that rust, um, get the pads back on, and, you know, just start running routes and just playing football again. Do you see the increasing the games as more of a marker or evaluation as opposed to practices, regular practices? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't say – yes and no. I mean, we're getting evaluated every day, whether it's a game or practice. Um, so, you know, we're not, we're not taking anything for granted. You know, we're going out there. Anytime we're stepping on the field and then snap, you know, it matters. So, we, you know, we're going out there and we're taking every snap, everything seriously and competing and trying to, you know, showcase what we can do and what we can do to help the team. Jacob, you have like a nice blog on one of the coaching catches. Is that what you're going to pride yourself on? You know, doing, doing the dirty work, doing some blogs and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, I just want to be able to do whatever it takes to help the team. Whatever I'm asked to do, I want to be able to do that and, you know, just keep working in and honing my craft and, you know, hopefully carve out a role. Getting the chance to work with both John and, and Bryce tonight, what was yeah. that like for you? It was awesome. You know, it was great to, you know, work with both quarterbacks. Um, you know, last year I only got to work with Bryce. Um, you know, this year they threw John in there a little bit, which was, you know, pretty exciting. But, you know, both guys are great competitors, and, you know, I couldn't have asked for the best, you know, for both of them. Can you cover with the development of uh, Lance? Oh, Lance is balling right now. Um, you know, it's, it's awesome to see him because, you know, coming in right away, he was turning heads. Um, you know, we saw it in practice, and then once we got the training camp, we saw it there too. So it was only a matter of time before you know everybody else is going to get to see Lance and you know what he can do. How comfortable have you gotten between in your time here now? Uh, definitely a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, the playbook is, is starting to be a lot more easier. Um, you know, the plays are coming quicker. I'm starting to understand the offense a lot better. Um, you know, going from tight end to receiver, I had to kind of shift that mindset a little bit. But it actually helped me um, in the long run because now I've got a real better understanding of, you know, what we're trying to get done on certain plays.